the daily graphic is reporting this morning mpp triggers parliamentary call and this trigger it has a picture of a federal market majority leader in ghana's parliament uh looking on and that's how the daily graphic addressed it yes majority leader oh, okay. uh, yes 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 yeah yeah yeah. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> no, I just wanted to be sure. Yes, 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 yes. And memorandum because the speaker because the speaker references the Supreme Court ruling, mm-hmm. um, you can reasonably infer that he's bound by that ruling. Mm-hmm. We need we did it. yesterday we had that conversation uh, and clearly, see there are, people are divided on the matter. Mm-hmm. So, for Shemsai, for example, the directive is unclear. They needed quorum to deliberate on what to do. They couldn't get a quorum. So they couldn't have actuated the or implemented the directive. You get what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. Which in and of itself may mean that the seats are still vacant. For Mama Yaga, seats are vacant. They didn't do anything. Speaker did not communicate to them the content. They were not party to a suit, or that they are aware that as MPs, speaker communicates to them. There is no such signal the speaker gave because the meeting and of itself can be said not to have happened in fullness because of the we cannot decide, we cannot mm-hmm. issues. Then, uh, but something says it's binding, first and foremost, yeah. without doubt. Nobody's mm-hmm. disputing that. But secondly, they didn't also do anything to create the impression that the MPs involved. Uh, they are disobeying the Supreme Court because they would have disobeyed the Supreme Court if the MPs were were say coming in and, and they were prevented were from, from doing so being part of the house or their uh, vote was not counted. Yes, yeah, so so yeah. that that is it. So basically, nothing happened. If you sum it up and you clean it up, nothing so happened. I so we still unclear in our minds whether or not Speaker Alban Suman a case for Babin. I have believes a that the Supreme Court has in, uh, has injuncted or asked him to stay. I have an and an we also had a small debate about whether stay because I, mean, I, yeah. Yeah. I have an analogy that I wonder whether it will clarify or confuse the thing more. But I'm thinking about it this way because we we are told that what the Speaker did when he declared those seats vacant was he simply announced that a certain law applies. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Mensah Bonsu makes that very clear in her submission on News File over the weekend. Okay. Not that he he, he issued an order for something to happen, but he simply said this law applies. Kind of like if a, 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 a police officer stops you and says, where's your license? You show him your license and he says, okay, you are qualified to drive. That's true. Right? Okay. If that's it, then let's think about it this way. You are driving along and you are stopped by a police officer. He says, do you have a license? You take out your license, you show it to him. He says, okay, you have a license, you are allowed to drive. Just as you move off, he gets a call on his radio. Stop that person. There's been a court order nullifying his license. He's no longer allowed to drive. Right? So my question is this. At this point that the order has come through the police officer has received the order you are driving are you in violation if the police officer stops you now can you say that well you told me to drive therefore no new order can come to stop me from driving I don't know if you follow what I'm saying. We're Not saying that all. we're saying that the speakers. Since, since, since you asked that question, would you want to attempt an answer? I don't know the answer. That's why I'm bringing this up. Look, <laughs> okay, see, so let me say so that the let speak, me answer. Let me answer. We are saying that the speaker's uh, announcement was just like a police officer saying, "You are allowed to drive because you, you have a license, right?" Then the Supreme Court is like an order coming in to tell the police officer or the yeah that that person should be stopped from driving right but the person driving says or the people driving the, in this case the minority says no this should not apply to us the, i don't know if you you you, you get my question so it, it, yeah they are they are insisting that because the order was or because we were told we can drive so we insist on driving again but the difference is that the driver in this case will be in any form a party to this issue 
in this case, the minority is not a party to it. I hope you get my point. Mm -hmm. So in this case, the, it the will be the vacancy will be the affecting the yes MPs. people. They are the driver in this. Yes, analogy. they are the driver. Okay. So then in place mm -hmm. are, are they saying they are being injected or they have not? I, I've not heard mm -hmm. anything from them too. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. let's continue. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah. So that's the stories. biggest story there. But they are calling Parliament back because they say there's outstanding business. Uh, they listed uh, the business to include a request for tax exemption for designated uh, beneficiaries under the one district. That's not outstanding business. Oh, take your time. One district, one <laughs> factory, <laughs> one factory uh, program. The others are seeking parliamentary approval for 250 million US dollar IDA, International Development Association facility to operationalize the Ghana Financial Stability Fund. And the consideration of six bills, namely the Environmental Protection Bill, the Social Protection Bill, the Customs Amendment Bill, the Budget Bill 2023, the Ghana Boundary Commission Bill 2023 and the Interstate Succession Bill 2022. So that's the. I also attach a list of the MPs on the majority side. About uh, out of the one, 80 of them had signed the request. Out of the 138, mm -hmm. 80 of them had signed the request, representing 58% and more than the 15% uh, requesting okay. the trigger to recall Parliament anyway. And you heard, uh, so you heard the gentleman Roxon Nelson Dafiamapo indicating that he also intends to go to court mm -hmm. and ask the court whether or not uh, the application for this uh, th this request to call recall Parliament can be made willy nilly. And indeed, what are the circumstances under which it can be made so that it's not abused? He would first and foremost be seeking a stay on the speaker from in any way acceding to this request. Way too. Or even if he does agree to the request. Mm -hmm. Because remember the original Afenio Marken mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. case mm -hmm. was almost like asking the court to interpret the actions mm -hmm. and, w and what can be done. Mm -hmm. Again, then he went back for an injunction. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, if the speaker recalls parliament in, within the week he had filed, he will be seeking that stay mm -hmm. so that parliament will not have to sit. But his matter ought to be determined first. He's basically saying, I'm paralleling the system but I thought, just like what has happened. But I thought it's his, his, uh, Roxon's side of parliament that said that Supreme Court cannot have jurisdiction over parliament. Yes, but you can disagree with a <coughs> mood or how something has been interpreted, or even the law has been so dealt with, then you can come to the conclusion that, then let me expand the vulgarity of this interpretation further by challenging it through this means. You, you know, get the point. There's a school of thought that says, I mean, where there's no dispute, it just mm -hmm. don't work to the Supreme Court asking interpretation, because certain things are very clear. So, Roxing is actually, first of all, telling the Speaker, you cannot recall under this so and so. Mm -hmm. And based on that dispute, mm -hmm. he now will go to the Supreme Court. Yes. Okay, and that's what he intends to do. It's, and, I mean, it's just... Uh, 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 and this time around, whatever the Supreme Court rules, he will abide by it. Well, because the Supreme Court will have jurisdiction when, over parliament. When he, went to, when he went to court um, asking that... Uh, no, no, I think the argument really is not that you do not have jurisdiction to do interpretation of law. The mm -hmm. argument is that you cannot injunct a procedure that we have established for ourselves. Is yeah. he not going to seek an injunction no, if no. the speaker says he's going to recall parliament? So, so in this case, if we move it along, as we are doing now, mm -hmm. because it appears that many people believe that, yes, whatever the Supreme Court says, mm -hmm. you act first. Mm -hmm. before you even have the right to question mm -hmm. or you take steps to question it mm -hmm. in the same forum that's established unless you want to commit a high crime. yes so that is where the difference is well let's see how it goes um the daily guide for today says pastors chiefs defend baumia majority caucus triggers parliament recall and 2024 elections npp exposes ndc plot Comes with a photograph of the communications director of the NPP, Richard Ahiagba. Uh, Next gen Infraco CEO found, oh, that's according to the police, Napo grabs three awards in the US. 
contesting future election doesn't result in vacant seat and comes to the photograph of the attorney general and I am sure that's his defense in the case but um, the bit about pastors chiefs defending Bamiya says that um, the vice president has received plaudits for his achievements since assuming uh, the position and chief among is not only how he had led various social intervention programs including the free shs digitalization drive paperless mobile money interoperability medical drone service delivery. the vice president led free shs too that's what the story says uh -huh. introduction of ghana card and many more but how he managed to keep a credible track record as a politician i am not sure the vice president himself has said that he led free SHS. Ah. Of all the things he's talked his about, his thirty achievements I've not I've not seen. I've not seen free SHS in there. Well, yes. of, of all the but it could be that this is a, an addition that ah. we did not see, but clearly he has been in control of. Ah, okay. So the president directed him to. Uh, it is very possible since we are not members of cabinet. Oh no 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 no! I'm, I'm just saying uh, that it is possible. Yeah, because even the digitalization issues they are under a certain ministry, right? Yes. There's communication yes. and digitalization. digitalization. Yes. But he has superintending power. Except, so it could be mm -hmm. that he had superintending power by free SHS too. Except you know, you know, uh, this vice president. One of the things he did, you know, when it comes to issues of digitalization, yeah, a lot of it would go through his office. Yeah. I mean, I know like people, buying laptops for schools. Uh, I know people. How I about mean, buying laptops for teachers? <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> during the um, uh, uh, development of the Go Ride, for instance. <laughs> yes. So the Go Ride app, mm -hmm. where the GPRT said they wanted their own ride hailing app, for instance. Mm. Um, they said they, they went to the office of the vice president. They saw him. He should help them. What, 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 what. And that's something that I'm told will be launched on uh, Wednesday. The Go Ride now. The Go Ride, yes. Okay. So uh, I can join Trotter from 37. Uh, to Dome, uh, know where the Chocho is passing. Stop you can, you can, if, if you need a taxi quickly, you can uh, see which taxis are within. I mean, I like Chocho. You, you know, you, you mean, don't take yeah, Chocho. Yes. Um, you, you can pay with a, you know, with a card. It's very simple. You tap and uh -huh. then you go. They have uh, this it's, device. So it's the payment system, not the. No, there's a right, there's a right alien app. There's a yeah. hailing system. Mm -hmm. Then there's a payment system too. Oh, I see. Yes. So uh -huh. uh, that's it. Uh, back page. Yeah, yeah. Just like free SHS. I haven't heard the vice president say that he implemented. Are you free disputing this story? I am not disputing <laughs> it. I am only saying I haven't heard him. Would well, you need his personal and as part of his achievements that he says he has led and even as vice president he has led and implemented more policies than John Dramani Mahama. Yes, but the policies he he talked about, I haven't heard him. I haven't read free SHS. He left it out magnanimously. You know, he's not a man known uh, to tout okay. his I've seen medical drone delivery service. Ah, yes. Uh, I've seen other things. Yeah. I haven't seen this one. Okay. I think he's allowed for those who want to take credit for the SHS to do so. <laughs> yes, <laughs>